So we talked in yesterday's video about how Frank Saravalli in the span of 30 minutes dropped three tweets crushing the hearts of Flames fans, basically saying that Elias Lindholm, Noah Hannafin, and Michael Backlund are all most likely headed for other teams. And then it was announced about an hour later that Mitch Love, who coached the AHL Calgary Wranglers and was honestly one of the heirs apparent to Daryl Sutter to being the head coach there, a very high candidate, looked at as a super talented coach, has left the Flames organization as well well to go be an assistant coach with Spencer Carberry and the Washington Capitals. That's a pretty big loss that not a lot of people are talking about. And then arguably the biggest bomb of them all happened a couple of hours later when Elliot Friedman and Frank Saravalli again, his fourth knockout punch of the day, Tyler Toffoli is heading towards a possible trade for the Calgary Flames and is leaning towards not re-signing with the team. So let's recap here. The leading scorer from last season and probably the best pure finisher on the team, the number one center, the longest tenured flame, heck, he's one of the longest tenured flames in the organization's history, an extremely young, talented coach, and one of the organization's top young defensemen. It was a rough day for Calgary Flames fans. But hey, at least Mark Savard is back as associate coach, I guess? And look, yes, of course, a lot of these guys are kind of on the fence. They might come back. It's not set in stone that they're all going to leave. But to me, when I hear about this stuff about like, oh, Elias Lindholm is not 100% closing the door on Calgary. To me, that's like, go away, get out. I don't want any more guys who were, oh, well, maybe I'll stay if you throw a big enough check my way. No, I want guys who want to be Calgary Flames, who aren't just here to collect a paycheck and go home and put on their Apple Vision Pro and pretend that they're in Florida instead of Calgary. So if I'm Craig Conroy, even the ones that are on the fence, goodbye, you're getting traded, go on WestJet.com right now. And look, there's probably a few fan bases who were laughing super hard at the Flames for this quote-unquote mass exodus that seems to be upon them here, but none are laughing harder than the Edmonton Oilers fan base. I mean, if you go all over Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, if you open a printer in Calgary, you'll probably see Oilers fans laughing at the Flames for this. I mean, they are in tears for this one. <laughs> they are making fun of the Flames so hard. And as a Flames fan, it is tough to look up the road in Edmonton and see that they've got Connor McDavid, they've got Dreisaitl, they're knocking on the door of winning a Stanley Cup here and know that we've got a Heritage Classic outdoor game against them in October where there's a good chance they spank us like they did in the 2022 playoffs. And honestly, I don't blame Oilers fans for laughing at the Flames so hard for this because if the roles are reversed, Flames fans, you know you'd be doing the same thing. But the one thing I'll say, and I said it yesterday, I think this is going to end up being better for the Flames than a lot of people think. I mean, I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, they're going to be terrible, sell, 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 full rebuild, and it could very well be a rebuild, but I just have a gut feeling about this. There's so many really good assets here that Conroy could flip for awesome value going forward. I just don't see how he doesn't get great pieces, even in futures trades. It doesn't have to be a win-now hockey trade like the Matthew Kachuk, Huberdo, Uyghur one was. It can be a futures trade for guys like Lindholm, Hannafin, Backlund, and the Flames can still end up in a really good spot. There are some talented players on this roster, and with a new coach, with a few new voices, and some new people in there, Things could go right, even with these guys who don't want to be there leaving. That could even be a good thing for this team. I don't know. I think this is going to be better than a lot of people are painting it as, oh, the Flames are going to be in WHL franchise now. No, I think they're going to be a better team than people give them credit for. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As usual, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.